Hello fellow video game collectors. I've got more pickups to share with you today. I went to my local Goodwill store and the only thing I really found there was Avatar The Last Airbender for GameCube. Uh, they also had a copy, um, a sealed copy of Scribblenauts for DS, but they're asking for $10 and that was a little high. Uh, so I paid $3 for this. Then I went to uh, Edward McKay, which is um, a series of stores found in North Carolina. Um, it sells uh, video games, books, and music. So uh, from there, I picked up a copy of uh, Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones for uh, Game Boy Advance for $22. Um, I already have uh, the, the first uh, Fire Emblem for Game Boy Advance. I'm trying to get uh, the entire series uh, because I've never really played them before um, and I really do like strategy games. So I wanna try and pick them all up while I can. Um, so also from Ebra McKay, I picked up a few N64 games uh, for uh, four dollars I picked up Blues Brothers 2000 and for three dollars I picked up Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling and then for eight dollars I picked up Deadly Arts which is like a uh, fighting game so uh, then uh, I also had a bunch of uh, Amazon pre-orders and other orders uh, recently so uh, I grabbed, uh, since speaking of Fire Emblem, I grabbed uh, Fire Emblem Fates, both Conquest and Birthright. Um, I really would have preferred to uh, get the special uh, collector's edition of this because it has um, these two games as well as the uh, digital only DLC in a one cart. But uh, that edition was, you know, pretty much practically impossible to find, and it was really disappointing because that was really the version I, I wanted, and it was probably the best version for physical collectors. Um, if you want to pick up Fire Emblem Fates, uh, don't get both versions. You don't really need both versions. Uh, you only need one, and then you can get the other version as well as the third digital-only copy uh, for twenty dollars each. Um, so I paid uh, $32 each for these with the Amazon Prime discount for, for um, pre-ordering. It's 20% off. So only get uh, one version if this is what you're interested in. So because uh, they're sort of like um, branching stories, you know, it's like the first few chapters uh, of both of these games are exactly the same. Uh, and then it sort of, then it starts branching out. Um, so also I pre-ordered a copy of uh, the... Mega Man Legacy Collection. Uh, this has the first six uh, Mega Man games from uh, the original Nintendo. And um, this is actually a really good uh, collection to get if you've never really played any Mega Man games. Uh, I grew up playing Mega Man X. I didn't really play these, so I'm really looking forward to going through the entire series. Uh, I've already played a little bit of the first one. And um, this also came with, uh, it might be a pre-order thing, but it came with um, uh, download codes for tracks and, and uh, music tracks and themes as well as uh, a few stickers um, There was also a uh, Another collector's edition of this which came with the gold Mega Man amiibo But I didn't grab that because uh, it wasn't in stock on Amazon and I already have the Normal Mega Man amiibo, so hopefully I can eventually pick up the gold amiibo later. Uh, we'll see and then uh, so that was also uh, No, this was uh, $24 uh, I think it's uh, $30, um, so with the 20% discount. Uh, so I also ordered from Amazon um, sort of a questionable game. Um, so please don't judge me for, for this, but I picked up a copy of uh, Senran Kagura 2 uh, Deep Crimson, and it was actually the Double D edition. Um, this game is exactly what you're thinking of right now. Um, it's a it's a it's a beat 'em up game that um, it, it's a decent beat 'em up game, but it, it's definitely for a mature audience because um, it has boob physics. Uh, that's the best thing I can say. Um, so I picked it up because it was on sale, and I and I thought it was just hilarious that it's called Double D Edition. Uh, so this was so this was twenty dollars. 
Um, and it also, this version comes with uh, the two disc music CD soundtrack, so that's in this box. Um, you can see some of the box art on the back as well. So, um, I don't know if I'd really recommend this game. Um, it's not a bad game. It's definitely a game, uh, if you're playing it, you might be embarrassed to play it around others. Um, but uh, it's, it's definitely a unique title to add to my collection. So, um, also from Amazon, uh, and everything else from here on is going to be Amiibos, but um, so from Amazon, I picked up, because the price of this was just plummeting, the Animal Crossing 3-pack. Uh, this has um, Cyrus, KK, and Reese. So a little bit of story behind this. Um, so it was about $18 whenever I picked it up because the price was plummeting. I actually think it went a few dollars lower, but uh, it was a little too late to get the um, the difference in price from Amazon. But um, the I actually the first one I got. So when I ordered this, uh, I also do Amazon subscribe and save, which is where um, every month you put in like a you subscribe to items that you need in your household uh, things like toilet paper paper towels um, maybe shampoo body wash stuff like that well uh, this month um, I had medicine in in my order and for some reason um, Amazon sent me both that and uh, these amiibos in the same package but well, we're talking about like vitamin medicine medicine with the very large bottles that are pretty pretty strong tough and um, so whenever they packaged it it damaged a little bit of the top of, of the plastic here so um, you know it didn't really bother me because I am not a in-the-box collector but um, I went ahead and sent Amazon an email you know just a heads up hey um, you sent me this, but you also put it with something that moves around and, you know, banged up against the, um, the Amiibo box. And, you know, there wasn't much padding in it, in the, in the box, in the, in the package. And, um, so, you know, just giving them a heads up. I really, you know, it didn't bother me. And I said that in my email to them and, you know, I said, you know, this is, you know, if I was someone that was a complete in box collector, you know, this probably would upset me, but it, you know, it's fine. I just want to let you know. Well, they sent me a replacement, and they said, um, they said, you know, just take, keep, keep the original, um, you know, don't send it back to us, we'll send you another one. Um, so they sent it standalone, and, um, it's in a little bit better shape. Uh, it still got banged up a little bit, but they did a lot better job with the packaging. So what I'll probably do is, um, whenever I have a giveaway on this channel, I'll probably include one of those in it. Um, so then I went to, uh, my local Toys R Us, which as I've mentioned previously is not very local, it's about an hour away. I picked up some more Amiibos, um, these, these were actually on sale, they were, uh, two, two for $22, so $11 each. Uh, so I picked up Smash Brothers Peach, which, um, I already have, uh, the Super Mario version of Peach. But I went ahead and grabbed uh, the Smash Brothers, and then uh, they had they had some amiibos that I haven't seen recently. I don't know if uh, now they've had a restock or what, but uh, I found uh, Charizard, and I found all of these on the um, the official Pokemon Day. So uh, with Charizard, I also grabbed uh, Jigglypuff and Pikachu. Um, I've never seen uh, Charizard or Jigglypuff anywhere. Uh, Pikachu is kind of common, as well as Peach. Um, and so uh, then finally, uh, the last stop I made was at my local GameStop. And again, I picked up more Amiibos. Uh, I picked up, uh, I believe this is a exclusive to GameStop. I picked up Ike, uh, as well as Green Ninja and Lucario. So each of these, these were full retail. These were uh, $12.99 each. And I also picked up, this was on sale. This was $10 off the uh, Retro 3-pack 
which has uh, Grob, Game and & Watch, and uh, the Duck Hunt characters. Um, so this one, uh, I believe it was retail for like $35, so I got this for like $25, $26. Um, and then while I was also there, I was able to get um, this month's uh, Mythical Pokemon Mew. Uh, in case you're not familiar with this, if you have Pokemon XY, um, you can, uh, I guess it's the distribution, you go pick these up from GameStop. Uh, it has a, a scratch part off and you just and put it into your 3DS and you get the Pokemon. And then uh, they also gave me... So that was for free, and this was also for free. They gave me the uh, Pokemon 20th Anniversary poster, which looks awesome. So yeah, that's everything I got today to show you guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. And remember, you gotta get the power up to beat the game.